Well, if they weren't, we wouldn't be at AK-47 Stadium here in Hexon, Texas. Bring your body armor to the stadium or wear a body bag for the ride home in the hearse. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. Terror Bay Mutineers take on the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I'm all. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he steamrolls through the defense on that play and picks up a nice chunk of yardage. And it's first and ten. And that's a pick. And now the quarterback is... Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. down and six. The defense gives up five yards on that pass play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is at time, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just. Oh, man, he really wants it. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, three. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimo burying salmon eggs, kimchi. No matter anything really tastes good. First down! He was no! Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but did not have the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Whoa. 
Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot three. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sheer. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down and long. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. With the brutal hit. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Breaks away. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere.
Second down and two. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Hot one, hot two. He's got a good chiropractor. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And this game is up for grabs. Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> First and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Third down and. The punter is warming up. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He refuses to go down. And he's off to the races. He's hit the 40. The 30. Great shoestring tackle. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. turn here to set up the offense just catch it run it back and don't die and it's first and ten and he'll 
will pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but... No oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot... of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Yes. Where? Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot two. Bring up third down and seven. He is fighting for every yard. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. Yep. He's coming out in the field now. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hey man, I was here on the now. You know what happened? Second down in a very lot. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is gonna hit more reset. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. It helps. Believe me, Grim. It helps. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. It's better to be lucky than good, which is... You can't keep a good mutant down. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rick. Very smart. Nil down a 
about if that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Whoa, and he laterals the ball from the player behind him. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. I know I have said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Second down, and that's it. That's their last timeout. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how much throw interceptions, but when I do... Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. I don't know do it. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. But they might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. The burn returner 
was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. No, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Uh, I'm talking about points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third and four. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I don't know why there wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. It's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. He was stuck at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third down and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Boom! And it's first and ten. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And he's running like a moon. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. First and ten. 
Second down in a very lot. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and, well, good luck. That ball was almost intercepted. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. The punter for today is being played by my kids. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And he picked up a... Smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. He might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's a defense schmuck. Second down and ten. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Yeah, no. <laughs> the offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk. That's a gain of ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. No running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. This guy's a brick shithouse. And it's first and ten. Swats the ball away. He can't catch. It was bloody enough for the meat. 
The Hexon Oilers got it done today. They win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I have wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm-mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. I'm a Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...